Right now, I am at the Colony Skate Park, which is, in my opinion, the best skate park for beginners up until, like, pro skaters, which even some pro skaters, depending on what kind of obstacles they like and stuff. Um, but I'm going to skate it for a little bit, and then we're going to talk about it and see why it's the best skate park for beginners. And if you live around the Colony area or Dallas and you're a beginner skateboarder, you should check it out. Or even if you're not a beginner skateboarder, because it is a lot of fun. Um, let's get into it. Let's go skate it right now. Cause this wind is really pissing me off and I can feel my heartbeat in my throat and I don't think that's very good so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it <laughs> let's just get to the point of the video which is why the colony skate park is the best skate park for beginners and I have a couple reasons for this the main one is just the obstacles it starts off from like if you're like trying to learn ledge tricks it starts off from a ledge like you know like that big and it works its way up to like you know a few feet tall or like two and a half ish feet tall and it's you know just perfect for working your way up you know working on working on your confidence on obstacles like the two stair handrail well handrail if you're a midget um, is perfect it's perfect for de uh, developing confidence for skating on anything that's a handrail at all because it's so low and you just it just gives you the feel of jumping down some stairs and landing on a rail that's aiming down to the ground without you know too much of a risk of dying um, and just a bunch of stuff like that the the ramps there are the same way there's a really mellow one that's short and then it progressively gets bigger as it goes this way um, there's a five I mean with the stairs it's a little weird because it's a two stair and then a five stair there's no gradual going up to like there's with ledges but it's still pretty good you know the other reason is just because the way it flows it's kind of like just a big open area so you don't have to worry too much about getting run over by someone else if they're there and they're better than you and they're just you know going around in circles or something like that so you don't really have to worry about you know being in the middle of something unless you're like directly in the middle of a specific area which it's pretty easy to avoid because it's directly in the middle of it and it's a big open space so you can just stay off to the side if you're new or anything like that or if you're just you know not have to worry about other skaters you can just do some flat ground in the little corner because they have a bunch of those but yeah those are really the only two things that matter if you're a new skateboarder trying a skate park because i've been to a lot of skate parks and a lot of them don't flow at all they're like just you know like a like a singular line going around in a circle it's just like a big circle and i'm constantly almost getting run over if i'm failing a trick so like i'm trying to do like a front nose or something i fail like five skaters going right at me just because it can't flow very well so if it, you know, just a big open area instead of just like a big circle thing, it's so much easier to skate when you're a beginner. And then also with the obstacles, 
you know, leveling up as you go, you know. Um, it just makes it so much easier to learn how to do stuff. Like kick, kick full back 50s for me, super hard to do on tall ledges, but I'm working my way up. So it's making it a lot easier to learn it because I don't have one super tall ledge to just try on. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, click another video. It's probably right here, and if it's not right there, then it's probably, you can just click the subscribe button and go to my channel and look at them. But it should be right here, or right here, or right here, or right here. I'll see you guys later.